Hi, I'm Jane, I'm one of the run testers, and I am here to talk about the Lululemon Blissfeel Trail. So Lululemon started making running shoes last year. We saw the Blissfeel come out, which was their first kind of everyday running shoe for women. This year we saw the Lululemon Blissfeel 2 come out, which was a little bit of an improvement. I've done a longer review on it. You can definitely go and check that out. And it's kind of got a few tweaks to the fit, but felt quite similar. Now we've got the Blissfeel Trail. This is a trail shoe, but it's designed to be worn from your door to the trail. So it can cope with concrete and trail, but definitely more designed for trail. Um, but yeah, let's get into my review. So fit wise, this is a strange one. The Bliss Feel when it came out was, the fit was so confusing. And I think it was it came up super small. So I'm always a UK five, pretty much in every shoe. I'm a five and a half in New Balance because they come up small. But the thing, I think the first Bliss Feel I was running in as a six. So like a whole size up from my normal size. I think Lululemon have corrected that. They've made some changes. This is a US seven and it's a UK five and a half. To compare, the Nike Peg 40, this is a US 7 and it's UK 5. These both fit pretty similar. So it's kind of half a size bigger. Yeah, about half a size bigger, I'd say. But I've got enough room in the toe box with this one, definitely. And I think the original Blissville I wore were US 6. So I've probably really confused you, but it's definitely more true to size, but I would definitely size up a little bit if you're kind of between sizes or you're not sure. As I say, I normally buy a five, this is a five and a half, but definitely fits more true to size. So we're, we're getting the sizing right, little lemon. Um, yeah, really impressed, really impressed with this shoe. It fit really comfortably. I've got enough room in the toe box and it was super breathable. So didn't have any, didn't have any issues with the fit, but I would definitely say size up a little bit if you can try it on beforehand, but definitely with a trail shoe, you want a little bit more room between your toe and the end of the shoe, just because if you're, you know I mean, if you're running on, you hit a rock or something, there's not an awful lot of protection around the front of the shoe. So you want a little bit more room. So don't be afraid to size up. So the run test, like I say, I've worn these on a lot of kind of like muddy kind of, it's not been that wet because for once <laughs> it's not rained. The week I've got to test a trail shoe, it's not rained. So it's kind of been light kind of wood chippy trail, a little bit of kind of um, light wood chippy. It's been a, quite a lot of light kind of wood chip trail in the woods in the com on the common and then a bit of kind of bushy park gravelly do you mean I've not gone to Chamonix wearing this shoe so caveat that couldn't get there in a week um but it is I I do I have enjoyed running in this shoe Lululemon haven't given us a lot of information they probably will by the time this video has come out so I'm not I can't tell you all the names of the foam and the design and all the technical terms but I will say it's a super lightweight upper it's water resistant definitely they haven't said that but I'm telling you it is I've run through puddles in it and I've not got super wet socks obviously you don't want it to be waterproof because you want a bit of breathability but there's a good there's a good amount of kind of design features that do keep your foot dry and comfortable in this shoe. It fits and it looks quite a lot like the Bliss Feel. You've got this kind of plastic rail around the side to kind of hold your foot in place, which is probably more important on a trail shoe because you want that kind of ankle support and you have got it there. And there's a lot of breathability around the tongue and the top of the shoe. I found it super comfortable. The outsole, I guess, is the important bit of a trail shoe and it is definitely more grippy than the Bliss Feel too. I'm gonna put them side by side here. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of grip. There's a good amount of grip. I haven't, like I say, I haven't tested this in a super muddy, wet, kind of hilly run, but I had more than enough grip on the trails that I was covering. And like I say, I think this is the shoe that's designed to go from your house to the trail. So if you're kind of, I'm talking like a trail park run where you can run from your door to the park run, the downsides of the shoe are the same as the Bliss Feel, where I think it's probably most comfortable over shorter distances. I probably wouldn't want to do a trail marathon in this shoe. That said, this is definitely my favorite Lululemon running shoe yet. I think the downsides of the Bliss Feel has always been that this foam, and Lululemon haven't said a lot about this foam other than it's kind of tuned foam cushioning. It's not a super plush foam by any, any measure. There's really no sinking comfort here. It's probably, 
firmer than the React, if you've worn the Pegasus, it's a bit firmer than that. It's, but it is responsive, it is comfortable. But I think my problem with the road shoe has always been that I am I want a bit more, I want a bit more cushioning from it because I'm quite a stompy runner and I like that kind of cushioned feel. And I've worn it for kind of 5K, 10K, fine. But longer than that, I probably want a bit more cushioning. With a trail shoe, you don't. it doesn't matter as much. You're on a softer surface and you don't really want loads of cushioning. You don't want loads of responsive bounce in a trail shoe. You don't want to be propelled forward and then land on a rocky, like, uneven terrain. So this is definitely, without a doubt, my favourite Lululemon running shoe yet because I found it super comfortable. I want a firmer trail shoe. I liked that it, was, it, was, it wasn't too plush and too bouncy. And I really, really enjoyed it. I think this they've nailed it with the trail shoe. And I would definitely, definitely do more trail running in this. Whereas with the Bliss Fields, I probably wear them for kind of maybe shorter runs, treadmill runs, casually. I don't wear them as much. They're not the shoe I reach for if I'm going to go and do an easy run or a tempo session. So my verdict. I like this shoe. I'm impressed with this shoe. I think I'm going to do a lot more running in this shoe. It's an early verdict, obviously. I've only run in it for about a week. Um, but that said, it's made me go out on the trails and I am not a trail runner. So this, it has been a comfortable shoe. It's £148, $148. So it is kind of, in, in this world, I guess that's not, it's not the most expensive running shoe. It's durable. And I think it's a decent option for a trail shoe or like a, a kind of, Trailey Park run. If you do park runs every weekend and you need a little bit more grip from your shoes, it's a good option. That said, I probably still wouldn't wear it for longer miles. I'm gonna do some more testing in it where I kind of do try and run, run in it for longer miles. Personally, I want a little bit more cushioning if I'm going longer, but that said, a longer trail run, you could you could definitely reach for this shoe. I've been really impressed with it. It's definitely been my favorite bliss feel yet. The fit's really great. It's still designed by women for women's feet, I think. Lululemon have said that there'll be men's versions eventually, but I kind of love that they're focusing on women first. It's kind of rare for a shoe brand to do that. So yeah, I have been, have been impressed with this shoe and I'm looking forward to doing some more miles in it.